Yeah, we're coming really close to, or pretty close to the end now. We have two normal levels and two boss fights. I think so, anyway. Now, yeah, there's like this level, the uh, the Crustodian boss, and then there's the, uh, what was it? And then there's the uh, level after the boss, and then there's the Underminer. I think that's it. Yeah. What the hell? Why do you do that? Maybe... Maybe you had to destroy the, um, destroy all these things here, and it will give you the item. Maybe? I don't know. That's really, that, that's really not enough. And, so, oh, these guys can, um, was it? blocked your attacks, but it's not like any others, any other enemies beforehand were trying to do the exact same thing. Like, come on, game. I hope nobody sees us like this. I got it. Do something. Okay. So these guys, the only way to really deal with them is to just, well, besides like a super move. Or you can also throw stuff at it and it'll and it'll also um like Heroes go on the floor like that or go on the ground Next like that stop. so i'm gonna try and test that now um dang it i missed yeah there you go like that um but it's a lot more reliable just to freeze him and yeah they're actually pretty simple to deal with because most of the time enemies aren't around to defend it so it's just usually just one big guy and you so you can just keep free you can just freeze them and kill them just like you will would with any other en enemy because it takes a lot longer for them to get back up than it does for like other guys so you usually don't that was a fail <laughs> you usually don't have to worry about that but this place moves too much yeah what is it uh oh those don't look very funny yeah those lasers are bad news okay just keep killing these guys because they don't like us <laughs> what do you know you can kind of lure the robots into the lasers but okay, okay. it's kind of easier said than done and they also just killed themselves, I guess. Alright. <clears throat> it's hard, kind of hard to tell from an aesthetic point of view, but yeah, at the moment we're actually inside one of the Gilgan bots or whatever, the giant robots that they're trying to produce, I suppose. So... They're kind of running out of things to say. We're coming pretty decently close to the end, so it's not too long before the Underminer confronts us. But uh, I guess I'll show off the bonus stages, but I'm not gonna. Hmm. I'll think about that in a little bit, but I don't really feel like I need to show off all of them if I keep on failing because. 
there's like three levels in like there's a was it nine secret or bonus levels I guess you could say and they're always the same same three levels for each each of them so what is it okay let me let me show you um yeah okay so metro metroville melee um yeah the first one which is basically a beast of, just kill all the enemies the second one is protect the scientists which is easier said than done in some of these and the third one is like some other thing. I think is. I think the third one is always different between them. Nobody um, does evil plans than or maybe it's just. No or maybe they just do it differently. Like uh, it's always the same three missions, but it's a. Uh, well, this one is the only one that's like structured a bit differently. Like the scientist one is the last one, but yeah, that's basically how the bonus levels work. I'm gonna be. Sh I'm gonna be trying to show them off, but if I keep failing in one of them. I'm just gonna move on to the next because I really don't want to bother staying on one for too long. And there's and the last protect the scientist level is really obnoxious, especially if you're just well. I'm not really sure about if about that on co-op because I haven't really tried that yet. But trying to do that level with, on single player is like the worst thing in the world. <laughs> okay, maybe not that bad, but still it's pretty freaking annoying so yeah if we keep failing that one I'm not gonna bother trying to beat it um, so I'm gonna be trying to do it as much as best as I can but if we just keep failing I'm just gonna stop doing it because I, I don't really want you guys to see me fail and fail and fail and just be bored so All right, come on. I don't think we can jump over there, can we? Oh gosh. Okay, I don't, I don't know why it was taking so long for these guys to appear, but hey. They're here now, so yay, I guess. Thank goodness we have these guys now because if we had to keep dealing with the drill dudes, I probably would go would have gone insane. Yeah. Sounds terrible. Yeah, like nails. I always thought those little things looked like pizza. Do do I don't know why. They don't Looks really like they're putting the finishing. Oh what? They're, in they're like just spot. molten things. They're like little pieces of lava. Yeah. Well, if you want to get pedantic, is uh, magma, I believe, but because we're underground. And I, if I remember correct, if I'm remembering correctly, uh, magma's underground. Um, if anyone wants one, uh, if anyone, if I'm wrong, and if anyone wants to correct me, then uh, go ahead, I guess. But yeah, either way. That's what it looks like. Okay. The factory is more dangerous than the robots. Hit them, destroy them. Oh, come on. Just keep on spamming that move. It's not really reliable though, because like you'll leave yourself wide open for for being attacked. So okay. Who is this Oh come on! That ni okay. At least I didn't die, but that would have been cheap if I did. Okay. Oh. You have to be careful because like you have to actually be right next to the to uh, the uh, what should we call it? You have to be like just far enough away, far enough away so he can't hurt you. 
but also close enough so you can actually freeze them. And it, it's a little bit... It can be a little bit tricky, but it's not too bad. Okay, another one of these guys. Okay. Okay, that's good enough. I think they give you a little bit of leeway, but I'm not really too sure on that. Okay, come on. Yay. Just screw this. <laughs> I can't be bothered. It's kind of a waste, but I don't even care at this point. Go into the grinders, please. Or not. That works too, I guess. I guess the reason why I enjoy this more uh, over the first game is that I just have a general enjoyment out of beat em up games. Like, even when they're super si simple like this, I still have uh, some enjoyment. Yeah. But still, it, it's definitely not like the that it's not like the most amazing game in the world or, or anything like that but it's de it's fun enough yo <laughs> now i know the underminer is great yeah what is this where's the reception there's an elevator all right and now we're at the end of the level. What do you say? Level 42? The custodian's office? The boss's office. How, how convenient, because it's actually a boss. <laughs> in both terms, I guess. Like, both in the sense that he's the boss of the place, and uh, it's a video game boss. You know? Okay, so... Okay, let's... Give them uh, another super move. My factory, it's falling apart. There will be many explosions. I was ordered to make 100 giant Gilgan bots. I like how Frozone's like getting, like, trying to defend himself. I'm not, so, I'm not really surprised because these, because of these freaking hammers. But it's like hammer, the, the way this hammer just span around, I guess. It's a pity this hemisphere of the planet will need to go to. We need to shut this place down before we all go boom! I hear you. Okay, so this is just put those switches on. And then he's gonna come out. Master shut down self-destruct switch? He's right here. It's my latest upgrade feature. Okay. So basically, he's a boss version of the giant guys. So basically, just freeze him, and then when he stops taking damage, run away because he's just gonna hurt you with that little thing. And then after that, enemy gauntlet, I guess. And then you have to freeze him again and just kind of repeat that a couple of times, and you're done. So yeah, really not the. Bosses are really nothing to write home about. He throws those little things at you. I, I don't think the uh, the enemy versions could do that. So it's a little interesting thing, I guess. But yeah, he's really just a giant dude. One of those giant robots with more, significantly more health. That's really it. <laughs> yeah, but still. And it's better than fighting Omnidroid three times with three health bars. Ah! Uh. Uh. 
but anyways. Okay. Now you're open for attack again. Okay, so whenever you see that little those little steam things come out, that's when he's coming out for you to, for you to freeze him and run away. Okay, so two more should do it. Okay, now he's coming back out. That was quicker than I expected. Please, free. What the heck was that? Can you please stop doing that to me. There we go. Okay. Punching him. Ah. Okay. All right, he's getting a little bit of little bullet hell in here. I think the enemies just all explode when you kill the boss. I could be wrong, but I could be wrong. Oh, come on, just die. Ah. You also notice the uh, platform's lowering. Or maybe, or either that or the sludge is in, uh, the sludge level is increasing, I guess, or some, something like that. But either way, I don't really think that plays, that you need to worry about that. It's just a little design, it's, it's just a little aesthetic thing, I guess, that makes it, makes it so, like, it, it, gives, it gives you the illusion that you have to hurry, I guess, even though you don't, you don't really have to. War, worry. As far as I know, anyway. Okay, now you're gonna die. And he's dead. Oh, 2,000. Dang. Okay. Ah, Can't do any upgrades. <laughs>